hello guys so in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create a simple register or you can say sign up script for your website in PHP so if you remember in our last login tutorial we created a database and a table named users it only consisted of two fields named username and password I added another field named email you can do it after like going at this option and then click go and the type is watcher and the character length is 100 so first let's begin with our programming open up HTML tags and close HTML so here we're gonna need a form if you remember in last script we also created an index page which consisted of input fields and and a PHP stuff get no defined thing so here's another thing um, you can say this I added a link to the register page so first I'm gonna copy the form and change this to register and this copy this down to first email and then second one this for a password check alright so password name it has pass one oh shitty caps pass pass and this button going to be submit I'm renaming it it as submit cause it will be easy name to remember in a programming language or when you're doing a programming and stuff and name it as not capital E you will see later on why I did the input type as email rather than text alright so we are done with it so open up PHP tags so create a if statement in it if it said dollar underscore um, dollar underscore post sorry for the terminator dollar underscore post submit submit then you're gonna see if all fields are there else you're gonna echo out all you are required all right so hold on a second I forgot to do something username is equal to dollar underscore post surname and for pass is equal to dollar underscore post Pass pass one is equal to dollar underscore post pass one the last one going to be email email is equal to dollar underscore post email so it's user input thing to and so to protect it from injections we're gonna use my SQL real underscore escape underscore string and just close the string too no we don't need such a thing alright so if you can see we added some security options to it so if username and pass and pass one and email so if these fields are are filled by the user 
then it gonna execute the other statements else it gonna echo out all fields that are required so if pass is equal equal to pass one so so if this then else echo out password must match so if they are equal then we're gonna connect it to our database first mysql underscore connect no user and no password cause I'm using a local host um, oh sorry mm. and then select your database users now create a query um, you can take any variable for this but I'm right now using query as a variable so underscore query and this query will insert the values insert into users as you know my database is also named users and so my query oh I mean my table users values going to be there are three you can see there are three fields or something over here in the first one I'm gonna insert the username second one for password and the last one for email as you can see first username second parse and the last for email all right and then echo out echo out you have then just uh, there all right so let's save it and now test it click register see username type in the username turn up and the email is um, alright type in a wrong email like this and so if you click you can see pre please enter an email address so if you want to register please enter an email address that's the use of using type as email if you want the user to type its email it would actually protect from spams alright and my password going to be AST and if I type a wrong pass like WQS and register password must match username again And if I type in card pass AST AST and register, you have been registered. So if I go to login again, oh, so if I go to login and type in my username PRA in the V and password AST, you are logged in as Pranav and uh, Laga. So if you go browse over here, username ASG pass uh, sorry username pronoun pass ASG and my email this so this is how you can create a simple register or a sign up script for your website and for more tutorials just subscribe me and for script of this tutorial just log into my website if you don't have an account create now log into it code it tutorial select this tutorial this is actually tutorial number six so, its script would be available there and thanks for watching.